Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's live stream on Twitch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're watching me live right now, then I want to say hi. How you doing? And thank you for watching. Couldn't make it to today's live stream and watching me back on my YouTube channel. Once again, hi, how's your dog? And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You might not like the video, then don't have to like it, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help it grow. Without you guys uh, subscribing, my channel's not going to get any bigger, and I'm going to feel bad. So if you want to make me feel good, and continue to bring these brand new released games that my gaming publishers are sending me to stream for my fabulous viewers out there. That's you. That's you. But even more fabulous. You're brilliant and fabulous and fantastic and amazing if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free. F-R-E-E. takes one second back, simply one click of your time, and it may make you feel good as well. Let's help my channel grow. Let's get to a thousand subs. Remember I said it's free. I'm not tricking. Come visit me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. That's Mar Brule. M-A-R-B-R-O-L-A-Y. Why not? Now, Arrow the Acrobat 2. Now, this stream is proudly sponsored by, supported by, and supplied by the amazing people at Radlicker Games and PR Hound. Big shout out to those two uh, gaming publishers that um, basically sent me this game to stream for my fabulous viewers out there. Let me tell you about the game before we start. Now, a couple of weeks back, maybe a month or so, I streamed Arrow the Acrobat 1. <laughs> I got stuck on the first stage. I couldn't get past it. Let's hope we can do a bit better today. Uh, if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, in the description, I will link you to the first game in the series, uh, which I also played in the Xbox Series X, uh, so you can, uh, and vice versa. So Arrow is back for more acrobat fun. After managing to stop Edgar Hector's mad plans to destroy the world of amusement, Arrow decides to investigate the madman's museum of horror. There he finds a strange floating ma uh, magician's box where he gets inside to investigate it, he suddenly transported to the mysterious place. Sorry, guys, I just spat on my phone. Okay, he is suddenly yeah, he's transported. However, to Arrow's, to Arrow, Edgar has managed to survive after being rescued by his minion Zero, and has asked him to execute the Plan B. But what could this mysterious Plan B? As in, it's yeah, it's confusing there. Arrow will need to escape the mysterious place he's trapped in if he wants to stop Edgar Hector's new plan. So the game features play through eight arenas with three stages each, including stages with rides. Use Arrow's acrobat skills to overcome any, all kinds of deadly obstacles and strange enemies. Choose between the English and Japanese version. Rewind, turbo function, repeat something till you achieve the perfection of speed things up. Save, uh, save state function, save wherever you want and restart from the exact point. Screen filters, select from several screen filters to modify the game's look, retro style monitor, black and white, etc. As a gallery, check out images from the original game's illustrations, posters, box designs, etc. Cheat functions. We all love a bit of a cheat, don't we, guys? Activate several cheats that will make things easier. Infinity energy, infinity lives, invulnerability, blah, 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 invincibility, <laughs> etc. So the game got just got released today, September the 6th, 2024. It's a single system game to one to two players. Uh, Gina's action platform adventure. Once again, the publisher is Radlicker Games. Supported language English and Japanese. Uh, let's have a look at the um, developer is Shinyu Den, Sunsoft. Aerobat, Aero the Acrobat is created by David Silla from 1993 to 2024. Uh, once again, big shout out to Radley Games and PR Hound for sending me this game. It's available for the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series. As an X, welcome to the stream, Joko. Yes, this is part two. Now, we'll play the game first and then uh, we'll check out like the, the gallery and stuff like that. Let's put the cheats on. Infinity Lives, Infinity Shots, Infinity Health, Invincibility. Do we need to do that? Start each level with a maximum energy. Yeah, why not? Super Jump when standing still. Yeah, why not? Infinity Drill. Infinity Fly. Now, because I'm showcasing the level of this game, guys. So I'm showcasing this game. I'm cheating. So I don't have to die every five seconds. You don't want to see me die. You just want to miss, you want to actually see the game. So this is why I'm doing this. Uh, level Select Enabled. So we can just change the levels. Let's do that too. Pause the game and press down, LB, RB, B to display the level selection. Okay, I'll have to try to remember that. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Okay, we'll put everything on because that's just the way we roll. We like to cheat. Scale mode, we'll keep everything uh, just normal at the moment. But we can change things, makes it more retro, yeah, CRT and stuff like that. Uh, let's actually, let's go back. To, let's go to about real quick. Check this out. There we go. 
just showing you guys this. This is kind of a, not important stuff, but these guys need a bit of shout out. And, you know, you just want to see, you know, for people, some people actually want to see this stuff. I've had enough of it now. Okay, let's, um, there's extras. So we'll check this out later. Let's play. Uh, you, you can exit the game anytime by pressing the following combo, LB and RB. Got to remember that. Hopefully we get some sound going. There we go. <laughs> it's old retro style here. Developed by... Rattleica Games and Shinyuden. Errol the Acrobat 2. Okay, so we've got options inside the actual game itself too. So it's just, let's not even look at that. We've got options inside options. Password, which is probably just selecting levels. Yeah, arrow. But we could we could press down, I've already forgot what it was, but LB, RB, B, and something else. <laughs> and we can select the levels. It's kind of good to have like these old retro games that were on the Super Nintendo on today's console. So if you never played them before, you can play it on today's console, like the Xbox, PlayStation 5, you know, Switch, um, without, you know, trying to buy a Super Nintendo or digging out your old Super Nintendo and then buying the game itself. Or you can just emulate it, I guess, if you had a, you know, a PC or a f or even if you phone these days, you can do it on your iPhone, but you know, Support the developers and the publishers that are actually bringing it to consoles and pick the game up. It's not too expensive. You know, it's under 10 bucks, I think, here in Australia. I think. I should check how much it is. Okay, so I'm looking at the uh, Switch US site and it's six bucks uh, US. Why am I looking at the US site? I'm an Australian. I don't know. I just I was just reading it from them. So it's this easy. Okay, let's get to the game. Enough of this talk. Here we go. Okay, we're talking about more stuff. Air was amazed at what he found. I don't know why I read it. I haven't been reading anything else, but you know, I just thought I'd chime in. It just sounded cool. <laughs> it deserves it right, man. If Arrow wasn't so curious, this none of this would happen. This game wouldn't exist. But now he's got himself stuck in a strange new world. Wouldn't you just jump out now if it starts to shake? Come on, Arrow. Get your wits together, buddy. Suddenly, with arrow inside, it completely disappeared. And the adventure begins. Let's get into it. Come on. Enough of the talk. Okay. Hopefully, I'm a lot better playing this game than part one. Because I absolutely sucked at part one. And I had cheats on that time, too. I kind of felt like the game was glitched out. I could shoot stuff. Whoa! Die clown! I don't like clowns. If you're watching me live, you like clowns. Because I absolutely hate clowns. They scare me. My next door neighbor looks like Pennywise. She actually does. No, it's not a he, it's a she. She's got no neck, she's got white face, she's fat, and she's she's a horrible lady. That's why I'm saying this. It's like, I don't normally you don't like many people, but oh! This person's absolutely horrible. And she's got bright, bright red hair. I'm not joking, she is a effing clown. I didn't mean to swear. I didn't actually really swear. I said, effing. Fire trucking clown. Jeez. Okay, well, where... Oh, what is that? I'm fine. Okay, so you can use a D-pad, guys, and you can use the, uh, the joystick. Checkpoint. Actually got somewhere this time. What is he doing then? It was just straight. Oh! Remember, I don't have to 
shoot these guys, they will die if I just walk into them. Oh, it's spikes, is it? Now, obviously, if I didn't have cheats... Ah! I got past the first stage. <laughs> I was saying I couldn't... Why is my achievement up there? Okay, I got achievement, guys, but it's appeared in the top left-hand corner. Normally, it appears right down the bottom of the screen in the middle. I've never seen that happen before. Why? I don't know why it's done that. <laughs> I'm a bit, a bit spooked. Oh, well, who cares? It's thrown me, though. It's thrown me. Bell Castle, Act 2. Come on, Arrow. Now, obviously, if you're playing the game, you don't want to cheat. Like, you might want to, you might want to, like, you know, put cheats on, like, Infinity Health. Whoa. Infinity Health. Because, it, you know, it, it, oh, I got an A. It adds, like, if you just want to play for the actual story and stuff. But then you pretend you don't have it. Because, you know, you can just walk into these dudes. Where am I going? And they die if you're walking. Oh, is that a beer? Yeah, it's a frothy beer. I can go a beer right now. And it's Friday here in Australia, so I can have a beer. Oh, sorry. Okay, show, let me show you. When these guys come next, I'll run into them, they'll die. Oh. Iffy. He looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, no, he just jumped me. <laughs> he scared crapless on me. Okay, so they don't die. Um. What's going on? Okay, so they might know that I'm basically gone. Oh, secret. Okay, so you can't kill him. I'm... Come on, Arrow, go up here. Arrow? There we go. Oh, I gotta get the frothy. And I'm, I don't know why I'm clicking this stuff, but you know, it's kind of show, showcasing the game off. This is what you're supposed to do. And obviously in the game, you can't always fly. Like you can fly, but you, you probably, I think you run out. That's why I've got infinity, you know, diving, infinity flying. Just showcasing the game, guys. Otherwise, you know, I die every five seconds in this game. And you don't want that. You just don't want that. Nothing worse than someone trying to show off the game and he's absolutely crap at it. Which which would be me. Where am I going? That's the trouble with this these games. They're so <laughs> It's so um uh, You have no idea where you're going. In the first game we streamed. I couldn't get past the first level because I couldn't find where the hell... It oh, it's there. I couldn't find how to get out of the first stage. And it's obviously a secret little thing like that. I just couldn't find my way out. I spent like half an hour, over half an hour, you know, streaming it. And I couldn't get past them. I thought because I had cheats on, the game had glitched out and it couldn't end. That's what I thought. Once again, guys, big shout out to PR Hound and Radley Gates for sending me this game. Just got released today, so check it out if you're interested. Oh, did I die? No. Okay, so I can't go through the door, can I? Okay, so obviously I've came up that way. That's new. What's this? He takes a while to, if you do this, if you stop, okay, so it's have achievement, King Arrow. Okay, so I've got it now. It's appearing in the top left-hand corner, but it's also achievement, I don't know if you guys can see, I think you can, that appears in the bottom, that's in-game achievement. So I've got an Xbox achievement, then I get an in-game achievement as well. It's kind of weird. And they don't overlap each other, which is kind of clever, I guess. Okay, so what are we getting here? The Bell Castle, Act 3. Come on, Arrow. Where are you, buddy?
These guys are smart, aren't they? Oh, whoa! There's a lot of a lot of secret things going on here. How do I get that? Obviously, that's important, and I can't get it. Okay, well, no idea, eh? Right? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, so as soon as you stop, like I go out and stop. Oh, he worked that job. Sometimes he kind of, he likes to stop and, you know, strut his stuff for a while. It's kind of annoying. Like that. And he's stuck. He gets stuck on the wall. I wonder if it's more like that if you play with the D-pad. Playing with the D-pad. D-pad feels really weird on the Xbox, I reckon. I'm just going to fly up here. Collect this stuff. I didn't know this was here, by the way. This is the first time I'll be playing this game, so what you see is, you know, what you get with me. No editing. I don't, all my videos are unedited, or most of them are. Unless they contain nudity. And then, you know, obviously I've got to edit because, you know, YouTube and Twitch chuck a fit. Oh! I died, did I? I was invincibility and I died! <laughs> oh! Kind of scared because you can actually die from the bells. I might be God, but there's nothing like a big ass bell that's ready to kill you. Okay, let's go down this ladder. It's like the whole stage is like a massive maze. Right? It's very confusing. Like, as I said, the first game we played, I couldn't get past it because I had no idea where to actually go. It's so confusing. Like, it's, it's all over the place. It's not like a normal, like, Sonic the Hedgehog or Mario where it's very, um, you know, straightforward. You know where you're going. Yeah, see? That looks like Sonic. In this game, yeah, I have no idea. I'm just kind of winging it. Of course, if I wasn't in guide mode, I'd probably be dead right now. Oh, there's bells! I almost... I probably would have made it if I just kept on running, but... I didn't have the balls! Oh, I died! <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna go all the way back here! That's not that far. I shouldn't die because of it. Okay. Let's just shut up. Let's just shut <laughs> Oh, wow. No, Arrow, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Nice and slow, guys, because, like, oh, man, I thought that had me then. I probably could have run, as I said, I probably could run as fast as I can past all this stuff, but I don't. I don't want to, because I know I'm going to get hit and then die and have to do all that, all that again. Don't want to do that. Go down the damn ladder, arrow. Now, oh, this is what you're supposed to do if you didn't have invincibility or forever fly, whatever it's called. Oh, died. If I would, I would have died. Jump my whatever, I, whatever they are. Like, oh, finally got out of this stage. Now, the princess in another castle unlocked. That's that, and it comes up here. Ninety G's. Okay, Act Three completed. 
Magic stars, 60%. Enemies, 26%. Overall, 46%. Just under half, which is probably pretty poor. But it doesn't matter. Oh, what's going on here? What type of game are we playing? I got a phone call. Be back in a second, guys. Let's take this phone call. Back in a zippy. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I guess I got a stupid telemarketer. I had to tell it go away. What's going on? I'm gonna just, just wait. I'm gonna block this number. Oh, what the hell? It's not coming up. Oh, oh, there we go. Block. Let's block it. Block caller. They generate different numbers anyway, I think. So I'm just gonna block that one. I didn't even get my number. I hate telemarketers. It was actually a telemarketer that wanted to sell me some property investments what how do you sell property investments knowledge password is oh no we don't need a password what was that thing that i could i can't remember that actually if you watch me live can anyone remember that um hold down l b r b b i think it was and something else i have no idea what it was oh it's snowboarding now This is a pretty fast stage. It's pretty cool. Like, it's going straight forward now. I don't think there's anything actually here that can actually kill me, is there? Oh, we just took a massive jump. Arrow, the snowboarder. You ever been snowboarding, guys? If you're watching me live, you can let me know if you've been snowboarding. Or you can talk about anything at all. I've never been snowboarding. Oh. Okay, I died. Is that a bonus stage? No. What was I supposed to do then? I don't even know where it's going to come up, so I might die again. Can I fly? The funny thing is, there's a checkpoint, so we don't have to do that stuff again, just in case I do. It's coming up around here somewhere. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Oh, massive. What's that sound? Is that an avalanche? Sounds like one. <laughs> Sounds like an avalanche. There we go, we made it. That was pretty easy in the end. Act one complete. I've got to figure out what's that. Okay, so we got another achievement. Uh, 15 Gs, Snow Acrobat. Uh, complete border zone act one. Boarding zone, sorry, not boredom. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so I just quit this damn stage because I did. Let's have a look. Cheats, they're all on. Press down. L, B, R, B, and B. Okay, so I think we've got to go continue. Press down. L, B, R, B, and... That doesn't work, does it? That quits it. So if I press... Let me see if I'm pressing the right buttons. Okay. Okay, so that didn't work. I'm pressing L, B, R, B, and B. I'm going to check that out again. Okay, so let me pause the game, which I did. Pause the game and press down. L, B, R, B, and B to display the level select. Okay, so let's do that again. 
Oh, level select. It works. And we can just change whatever we want to do, guys. If we can go the the engine, the boss stage. Go. Let's go to the boss stage. Let's see what it's like. Now we can skip all the way through, which is totally wrong. But um, you know, we can do it if we wanted to. Now, spoiler alert, guys! If you just didn't want to see what's happening, you probably wanted to skip all this stuff. Spoiler alert! I'll skip to the very end of the game. But you know, obviously, you don't have to do this. Just checking it out. I won't play much of it. We'll skip this stuff because no one wants to see this. If we if we show it off, um, then you know it's going to be it's going to spoil the game for you. We don't want to spoil the game. But that's what happens. It actually works. So, so this is the last stage. You're on a, um, you know, on a train. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we just, we can you know quit that close. Okay, so let's check out um. Okay, let's look at. Videos. Okay, so we can fill the screen completely, pixel perfect, and smaller aspect ratio. Fill the entire screen. So fill the entire screen. Uh, looks load state. Go okay, here. This is what it looks like. Kind of terrible. Kind of terrible. It's kind of stretched right out. But if you don't like playing with, you know, how the game originally was, then I guess, you know, you can do that. Uh, let's look at the extras. Okay, so we've got Duplox. There's 18 tracks. It's catchy, isn't it? The last one. Okay, so then we got gallery. Okay, let's look at the gallery. Um, okay, so we got front. It's not working. You can reset the image here. Okay, there it is there. And we can zoom in on the Super Nintendo part. This is the back. You can zoom in and read all that how it was. Remember the Super Nintendo arm? Um, well, here in Australia, I'm not too sure what they were overseas or like, uh, but they were cardboard. Same with the like the the, the NES. It was NES came out in car the cartridge obviously the cartridge obviously was plastic, but the actual game case was cardboard. So it was the Super Nintendo, and so was the Nintendo 64. So it was very hard to keep them in good condition. You could get those little plastic little things to stick them in, um, like you know the pop vinyls coming in these days, or not coming, but you can put them in. But it's kind of hard to Keep them nice. Gallery again. Let's. Okay, so we got. What's that? Box top. Uh, remastered art. And menu background. Got menu background. Uh, all this stuff like this. We're just scrolling through it. Just checking out. It's no point in me actually. And that's it. Uh, manual. So we can check out the manual now. Let's. Um, Let's zoom it in, like, probably the best there. Okay, can we, um, can we change? Can we change to the next one just by doing this? So, I, no, we can't. So, this is the manual. If you actually want to see it better, you can zoom in, which is kind of cool. I want to zoom in on this one. Check it out. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we zoom out. We can actually see what the actual game was like back in the day. It's it's kind of sad when you buy a physical game these days, you don't get manuals. You just get a case, cover inlet, and a disc or a, an SD card, like a Nintendo disc cartridge. I don't like discs. Just don't. I like cartridges. But it's even worse these days with digital because digital costs more than physical and you don't get anything at all. Uh, what's this? This is cool. Little animations, what happens to Arrow when he 
you know, dies and catches fire. We can change the scale of it to make it, obviously it's too big before. Uh, goals. It's kind of cool how this they add this stuff into it because this brings back memories if you used to own the game or just basically, I never used to own the game, but it brings back memories for me how games used to be back in the day. Uh, have we done it all? Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. So there we go. Arrow the Acrobat 2 brought to us today by the amazing Rattling Games and PR Hound. Big shout out to them for sending me this game to stream for everyone. Got released today, the 6th of September, 2024. What did I think about the game? I think I liked it better than the first one. Why? Because the first one, I got stuck in the first stage and couldn't get past it. <laughs> That's why. Simple as that. It's a decent game, guys. If you want a bit of a nostalgic throwback, then the great people at, at Rattleica Games have brought Arrow the Acrobat 1 and 2 uh, to the current consoles. PlayStation, Switch, and Xbox available right now. I like it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for calling past today's live stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, please, guys, like and subscribe. You don't have to like it, but if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and help it grow, I want to try to get to those, uh, get to a thousand. That's a long way away. I'm way off, but a thousand subs. Um, I feel good about myself then. I feel good about myself now. Every time someone new subscribes to my channel, I feel good. So if you want to make me feel good, make you feel good too, and it is free, take advantage of the freeness. And then subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll continue to bring these great new release games uh, that my gaming publishers are sending to me. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching. You mean the world to me. Make sure you take care of the cells and ones you love. Don't forget to feed your pets. Remember, my name's Barbara Lee. Say hi to your dog for me. Thank you for watching and bye for now.